So here we are, it's the night before uh, the beginning of our epic trip to Alaska uh, and I'm about to finish packing my bag. I've left it a little bit late as usual. Uh, everything I'm about to show you is going to fit eventually into this bag, I hope. Uh, but here's what's coming with us. So to begin with we have the Scarpa Manta GTX Pro. Uh, they're my go-to hunting boots. Right next to them are my Sims G3 guide boots. Now they're coupled with these Sims G3 waders. Now there could be a lot of time that we're going through river crossings, through marshes, those sorts of things, and that would be our go-to gear for that. Right next door to that, we have two sets of the Deer Hunter Track waterproof smock and trousers, and then another lighter weight Deer Hunter Survivor uh, waterproof over trousers. Taking three sets of trousers with us, uh, Cumberland, which is a waterproof Poly Trico, the Predator, which is a soft shell, slightly thicker, and then the Strike, which is more of a cotton canvas and lightweight. Next to those, we have our Avanti waterproof fleece and Realtree Max 5. The Cumberland quilted jacket, Cumberland quilted waistcoat, there are insulating layers. Five pairs of liner socks uh, for use under the waders. Five pairs of merino socks for use under my boots. Six pairs of sports underwear. Now they're not cotton, they're more uh, polyester or, or man-made fibers so that they are wicking some thermal long johns to go underneath my waders. Three sets of Deer Hunter Greenock base layers. Two sets of Dunbar insulating layers. So that's all of our clothes, as you can see. Uh, two sets of heavyweight gloves. Two sets of smaller liner gloves. Face mask and um, uh, beanie hat. I've got two baseball caps from Realtree Mask 5. I've got this larger hat, which is better for uh, keeping the mosquito net off my face. Over into our deluxe accommodation sleeping bag, sleeping bag liner in case it gets cold, uh, emergency bivy in case we get caught out and I get chewed up by a grizzly bear, thermarest inflatable mat. Here is my Helix or Helinox seat that I'll be using both in camp and also for glassing. I have a waterproof fleece blanket, two easy quick dry lightweight towels and then moving here to the front a small uh, spotting scope hawk spotting scope a hawk lrf 900 uh, rangefinder hawk endurance 12 by 56 binoculars uh, gopro for uh, point of view filming filming back at myself stills camera and a little tripod thingy there head torch absolutely essential don't want to get chewed up in the woods when i want to go for a wee at night uh, cards shooting sticks here Vanguard B62s go everywhere with me. Uh, various bits of toiletries, toothbrush, deodorant, Vaseline, uh, suntan lotion, not that we might need it. Uh, these are probably going to be using most of the time to keep ourselves clean, baby wipes. Over here we have a solar panel and a battery pack. Uh, that's both for the cameras, for the video cameras and also for our uh, GoPros and all of the various different cables and connections we need uh, for charging here. These are quite important. We've got the uh, cleaning kit pull through, lens pen, so all my gun um, tools and maintenance equipment. Here there's just general stuff, cable ties, tape, paracord, bungees, just general stuff that we might need for fixing and keeping things together. Of course, uh, gun oil, this is Purdy um, from uh, James Horn. Onto the kitchen, two Nalgene 32 ounce water bottles, mug camp set share mug, which is basically going to be having all of my freeze-dried food reconstituted in there. Essentials being a titanium coffee cup. Jungle formula, both roll-on and spray-on, anti mozzie repellent. Mosquito hat, or face mask, sorry, uh, head net. My trusty Buck 110 Folding Hunter knife. 40 rounds of Hornady Superformance 225 grain 338 ammunition. A leather case to carry it in. And that is pretty much it. Whilst that looks like a lot of gear, the fact is it's not really. Um, I've got three pairs of trousers, uh, three base layers, two tops, some insulating layers, and then a lot of waterproofs. Now the key is just to make sure that we're insulating appropriately for the conditions. Now if we're up and moving and walking around, that might mean even walking in our underwear, uh, but when the weather does come in and it gets cold, we need those layers to go on top, and more importantly, we need to stay dry. Uh, so fingers crossed this is all gonna go into the pack. We've been in there before. Um, and the next time we'll be speaking to you guys is probably on the way to the airport in the morning, so wish me luck.